AutoCAD uses the very popular Cartesian coordinate system for making the drawings and in Cartesian coordinate system we have x, y and z axis. Here we have this x axis represented with the red line, the y axis represented with the green line and we also have a z axis which we cannot see because we are in the 2D plane. The z axis is pointing outwards from the screen right now. Now all the points in this Cartesian system are measured from this point which is the intersection of x and y axis or the intersection of x, y and z axis in 3D and that point is taken as 0, 0, 0 and each 0 represents the x, y and z axis respectively. Now if you talk about 2D coordinate system we only have x and y axis. So the first coordinate point will be the x axis and the second coordinate point will be y axis as shown here. Now if you could see the grids in this drawing area you'll notice that i have divided this complete block into 10 grids in horizontal direction so we have these 10 grids in the horizontal and 10 in vertical direction and the size of each block of this grid is one by one unit so the length and width of this block is one unit in each direction and the size of this big block is 10 units in length and 10 units in width or height now in order to find the coordinate of any point with respect to the origin all we have to do is find out its x and y values. So let's say that we want to find out the coordinates of this point. So all we need to do is count the number of x blocks and then number of y blocks. So in this case we have number of x blocks as 10. So after 10 blocks we can make a line that will intersect this point. Now after 10 blocks along y direction if we make a line it will also intersect the same point. So the coordinate of this point is x10 y10 and that will be 10 comma 10. Now similarly in this case we have this point and the coordinates of this point will be 10 in x axis because after 10 blocks along x axis we have this point here and the y coordinate of this point will be 4 because after 4 blocks we have this point. So the coordinate value of this point will be 10 comma 4. Now that's the simple Cartesian coordinate system. Now if you want to use the polar coordinate system then you can do that as well and I have made a geometry here now this line starts from the origin and the length of this line is 10 units this line is also inclined to an angle of 30 degrees so if you don't want to specify the end point of this line in terms of Cartesian coordinate system and you want to specify it in other units which is the polar coordinate system then you need to represent the values as the length of line and the angle included here so that will be the length which is 10 units and then the angle which is 30. So this will be the value in polar coordinate system. So now we can represent this endpoint in terms of polar coordinates using this coordinate value and we'll learn about this later on in this complete course.